Karibu kujifunza web site programming kwa kutumia Django framework na Python programming language. Kutengeneza driven web application yenye dynamic content. Hii ni episode number 5. Tutajifunza namna kufanya customization ya admin panel. Admin panel of course uh, ukishaifanya customization inakuwa na muonekano mzuri kama unavyoona hii hapa. Lakini default uh, template inayokuepo unapokuomesha login kwenye panel ya admin inakuwa na default template kama inavyoonekana hapa. So of course katika uh, video number 4 tuliishia kwenye ku login kama super user na kuingia katika admin panel. Of course hizi ni models ambazo tulizitengeneza kwenye model yetu. So tunataka tu customize panel iwe na muonekano mzuri na kuvutia. Okay. So step number 1 uta include library moja inaitwa Jasmine. Tutatumia Jasmine hapa kwa sababu ni open source konta andika pa jasmine jango nitaifungua nita click link ya kwanza yeah, of course hizi ni features zinazopatikana katika jasmine jango zipo nyingi tutaziona kwenye settings tutazofanya settings na unje kwenye installation namna kuifanya installation hiyo library nitakuja ku copy hii hapa a pip install hii hapa nita just click copy nikisha copy nitakuja kwenye ile command prompt yangu na utumia ku, ku run program so let me see the command prompt ile partial so current sasa hivi system ina run na wewe unapagua zile page na request so na cancel current server na run maana kina cancel maana kina tabonyeza control touch ile tabonyeza c hapo ndio kwa nime stop fish na muda si mrefu hapa stop sasa simbonyeza control c hapo nime stop fish okay ndai paste ile ambayo nimecopy hii hapa of course ni hii hapa nimecopy of course ngoja ku paste hapa kisha na click enter ipindi nafanya installation of course mimi nisha install tayari so nitakuja kwenye kwenye ile web tena nitakuja ku copy hizi mbili jasmine na jango hiyo of course hizo mbili so nitakuja hapa kwenye settings uh, nitakuja kwenye settings nitakuja kwenye stored apps nitaongeza hizo stored apps of course hii admin ipo kwa hii sina haja naifuta na kwa sababu hii ni python ina mambo ya indentation na naisogeza hapa inakuwa namna hiyo nikisha kifanya kitu kama hicho nitakuwa nimesha include hii so ngoja ku refresh page uh, of course ni uh, hii hapa hii ambayo so ni refresh sasa hivi tuona imebadilika nimekuwa kwenye muundo unaovutia. So just ni refresh. So hapa natakuwa ni run server kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeinstall hiyo Jasmine. So natakuwa ni ni run. So run server. After running uh, of course imekuwa successful. Nakuja kwenye browser na just ku reload. Just ku reload. Okay. so na kana kama ya apply okay jasmine just kwenye uh, installation okay now kwa sasa naona kana hivi oh mjaribu kuitoa hapa ilikuwa nimeweka chini nime paste nimeweka hapa hivi nimekuwa ya kwanza okay so uh Pengine tulimsha run ya uh, uh, hapa so niki check hapa ni hii inaonekana namna hii dashboard nikija kuonyesha announcements utakutana na hizo announcements hapo so ni click add announcements hapa naweza fry so naona sasa hivi hii sinavyoonekana so kinachofuata unakuja hapa hapa katika hii page tena unakuja kwenye ya of course ni wapi Jasmine unakuja kwenye configurations Ah. Uh, Hii hapa na click configurations. Alafu na una copy Jasmine settings. Hii hapa. Kwa una copy hiki pande naishia tu hapa. Hapa. Na copy hiki. So ile katika settings. Settings hii nashuka mwisho na kuja kuipaste. Chini kabisa mwisho kabisa. Pause hapa chini na paste. So na close hii tag hapo. Na just click close hapa. 
So set title, title for example hii ni college utaandika jina na unaona inafaa. Utaona imebadilika site brand and then uh, college for example. College. Site header alafu utaandika header ambayo unaona inafaa. Okay now. So cha muhimu zaidi ni customization panel. Ambao utaipataje? Unakuja kuchukua uh, kuna hii language chuza unaweza kama kama na lugha unaweza ka set yani lugha na mtu anakuwa anachagua lugha kulingana na kile ambacho ana lugha ambayo anajielewa so nita copy show slide bar slide bar of course ni hapana uh, moja ya ku show user interface builder hii ni just like copy then unakuja ku edit ya kuipa chika pale Uh, so nita just kuipachika hapa hapa of course hii force unaitoa unalika true kupata builder so builder ndo msingi so ni save changes ni hile katika uh, site yangu of course ni hile ni ki refresh na utaona builder na tokea so of course save ni, ni, ni shoot down uh, okay. ni restart sababu ilikuwa nakagua hii ambayo siku ikozi mara ya kwanza okay now so nitakuja katika application was server in run yes now i die fresh tutaje kuiona builder hii so builder imetokea hii utai click ukiklick hii builder utafanya customization ya mambo mengi of course primary so hizi navigation bar side bar ukiziklick uh, manake theme unaweza kachagua na theme hapo so theme hii kwa default unaweza kachagua hii utaona na change inakuwa hivi nikichagua cosmo utaona imebadilika hata button hizo utaona zime change sasa nikiangalia una button zime change nikichagua cyborg imekuwa kama na, na black fulani mzee nikichagua Uh, we, just uh, lumen umeona lumen inachifanya so hii type to na uh, hii top navigation ya juu hii inaweza ngabadilisha rangi of course rangi inabadilisha somewhere hapa na baba ants nikiklick hiyo unaona rangi itokea ile pale na hii ya pembeni hii side bar hii huku of course yenyewe unaweza kubadilisha somewhere ukiklick hapa settings ukishalizika na settings ambazo mzifanya fanya unaweza kubonyeza hii show code alafu na copy hizi code hizo control c maana ni shortcut ya kukopi unakuja katika settings unashuka chini hapa baada ya hizo settings chini kabisa mwisho mwisho unakuja ku paste ukisha paste una save changes unakuja ku run hiyo admin panel sasa nikirani sasa hivi zile settings hizo zifanya pale zitakuwa zime apply so sasa hivi kidogo me ya ni kuoni design kama mtu design yake of course uta design kwa vile wewe unaona inafaa So now watu wanafuata ni baada ya kufanya customization zote mimi nime customize nimepata rangi hii ya juu nimependa pembeni nimepata hizi buttons nimezibadilisha rangi zimekuwa namna hii so now nipo katika position ya ku add data so hizi models kumbuka tuna students tuna programs tuna heroes na nyingine sasa cha kwanza kabisa ni ku upload department department itakuwa ya kwanza ku upload alafu utaje kwenye add department utasajili department zako hapa kwa hiyo nitasajili department ya kwanza for example human resource kisha nitabonyeza save and add another itatokea nita add nyingine hapa so nimesha add departments uh, department zangu hizi human resource uh, na nyinginezo hizo zao hizo nimez add So department zipo 11 zitaki kuonekana zote. Of course kama na department nyingi zitajaa mpaka chini. Tutaona baadaye namna kufanya pigination yani tuishie tu kuonyesha tano nyingine atakuja anabonyeza next anaziona okay now. So unaoje kwenye baada kwa department unaoje kwa program. Sikumbuka kuna relationship. Kwa sababu unapo add program program lazima usume hivyo department gani. Kwa hiyo department lazima iwe registered. Kwa hiyo nikiklick hapa zitatokea zile department ambazo ni zilizo kwa ungeanza ku register department hapa ungeshindwa kwa sababu uh, ungeanza ku register program ungeshindwa kwa sababu isingeingia kwenye department yote. Kwa uwe kusajili program mpaka department kwanza iwe. So na unakuja kwenye academic 
place center ndo no mfano tab limit program name for example we program in also mambo ya community development mfano by then na chagua program duration miaka mitatu then fee inakuwa kwenye Tanzania shillings of course zipo currency nyingi hapa na chagua za Kiarabu nyingine Zimbabwe dola nini so naacha ile default ambayo nilisema mwenyewe ada milioni 1200 so mfano ndio hiyo by then bonyeza save and add another nikibonyeza save tu peke yake department zitatokea hizi hapa of course ya yeah. any program program ya kwanza hizi so ndo click add so save and add another maana nitakuwa na na save na add another save na add another so tutaje kwa add cause nitabonyeza cause kisha ndakuja hapa nita add cause kisha nita select cause hivi kwenye program gani so program ndio zile ambazo tuliziadi pale zinaoje kutokea huko so mfano ni kisha na click save so hizi cause zote nimesha add zipo cause tisa na ukija kwenye programs programs hizi hapa zipo 15 of course na wewe utakuwa umeadi uh, kinachofuata ni ku add students so nitakuja hapa nita click add student Direct. So registration number utaandika registration number kwa mfano hii hapa. Then full name utaandika full name. Passport size uta upload passport size ya mwanafunzi sika for example hii hapo. Application form yake na kwa mfumo wa PDF na hiyo download na upload. Program of course ndo hizi. So for example hiyo resident ndo zile list. Default na kwa Tanzania kama nakumbuka. So nitachagua tag. Kisha na click save so kisevu wanafunzi tunao kumi of course utaadi wewe wengi unao unavyoweza so kinachofuata ni kuja kwenye kuadi uh, cha mwisho ni heroes so nita select heroes nita add heroes uh, hapa nitaandika just a full name then nitachagua heading for example heading ni best au most innovated innovate then title huyu ni best student Uh, passport size for example passport size here hapo program uh, here hapo department uh, and here so these are the relationships kisha na click save so ni click save utaona umetokea hii hapo so fune nitaingiza fune heading tandika heading so nitachagua title nita upload image for example kisha nitachagua program kisha nitachagua department kisha nita click save so yakuta imekuwa namna hii. So ya mwisho ni announcements. Uh, nita click add announcements. So nitaipa heading hii announcements. So nita upload file, nimesha ile upload, nitachagua heading for example hiyo ndo heading. Na hii ni title kisha nitaweza save. So uh, announcements zipo tisa na unaweza kubonyeza, kubonyeza kaanga hii ni PDF, unaweza kubonyeza kwa check. Okay now. So uh, kila kitu kimesha kamili kaba ukija kwenye courses hizi hapa zimesha kwa registry department hizi hapa heroes our heroes ni hawa hapa na programs programs ni hizi uh, students students ni hawa and users ukija kwenye users current user ni mmoja ambaye ni mimi ni login na ukitaka ku add user na add user na unampa privilege kwenye groups ukija of course hamna group unaweza kujifanya wakati tu ka add group na ukalipa group privilege for example group inaweza likafanya kazi katika application yetu can view programs can delete the programs can view heroes can view students then group unalipa jina for example ile group litakuwa ni group la staffs uh, by then na just click create a group so na click save kwa kija ku add user for example nikija kwa users ni click add user for example username ni maria and then password ni maria 2023 then na repeat password ni maria 2023 after then click save uh, of course password okay password ni fana username so password ni chagwe dodoma na hapa password ni chagwe dodoma okay so nda click save user mesha kwa added maana ke kisha kwa added nitakuja kwenye personal information nitaandika full name aba pingine Maria Maria for example ndo kwenye name yake last name for example Alice last name is Alice email address tandika email address for example ndio email address kisha unje kwenye permission kwenye permission na mwadi katika group la staff na group la staff lina permission ndio ziweka nne hizo ni permission za group afa nampa permission za individual yeye kama yeye anaweza ka 
view heroes naweka naweza ka delete program naweka na nyingine nyingine ambazo tutaona zinafaa kwa nitaika okay now by then unaweka hapa tick ili aweze ku login uh, kisha kwenye important updates of course hapa si hiki chochote kisha na click save kwa now ni log out uh, nikija hapa ni log out ni log in again na Maria anaweza ka log in so nitaandika Maria uh, password ni of course ni dodoma kisha na click login okay now Maria ame log in sasa ukija kuangalia yeye amekuwa limited haoni department haoni course haoni chochote kwa nini kwa sababu permissions hizo pewa so anaweza kwenye heroes just an view an view heroes hawezi aka add ile option ya kuadi hakuna kwenye programs ana view programs option ya kuadd ila option ya kudelete ipo anaweza kuanza ka select program for example program hii hapa anaweza ka click na ka delete as click delete click go ipo kwenye position ya kudelete so delete multiple okay so atije kwenye students anaweza kawaona students anaweza ka click particular students lakini hawezi kubadilisha taarifa unaona hapo hizo fanya chochote so anaweza kaangalia application form aki click pdf itakuwa downloaded hiyo application form ya huyu mwanafunzi lakini hawezi ya edit chochote so close so to log out to log in kama uh, uh, super user ambaye ni huyu aki log in super user kama unavyoona yeye anakutana na kila kitu kwa hiyo user anaweza kumwadi kama ana privilege afanye nini so uh, ukija kuangalia wa students wanavyoonekana ala tu format tu format kwa style ambayo itaonekana kama inavyoonekana hapa so ni just kuonyesha kwenye ile file yetu unaona inavyoonekana hapa kama kuna vijiji round round hivi imezungushwa vijiji round round eh vijiji round round so tutaje kufanya hivi katika tutorial na ufasa tutaje kuona namna kuweka editable uh, editable box kwa ajili ya kuedit tutaje kuweka hizi hapa na tutaje kufilter items ambazo nitakuwa uzione sababu hapa uh, nikija hapa wanafunzi wa hapo of course nikija kwenye programs zipo 15 sasa huwezi kuzi display zote kama zipo 20 maana yake utakuwa na scroll mpaka mpaka ndio kwa chache afu unaje kufanya pagination so unaje katika tutorial inofuata number 6 kuja kufanya pagination na ku customize students ah uh, customize students pamoja na vingine ambavyo tutaviona katika class number 6